All right, guys, we are back, and I don't know about you, but every time Saturday rolls around, I get so excited for another Saturday Night Snack and a Movie. Now, at the beginning of this year, I announced that I was going to be having you guys help me choose what movies we were going to watch each week. So make sure you stick around through this whole video, because at the end, we are going to be looking at all these videos that I have on the wall, and we're going to choose a few, and then we're going to do a poll for you guys to choose which movie you want to watch out of those chosen few for next week's Saturday Night Snack and a Movie. We didn't do that last week, so I just kind of looked through these myself, and I chose three for you guys to choose from. We chose Teen Wolf, Adventures in Babysitting, and The Bad Guys. Now, The Bad Guys is a newer movie. These two are from the 80s, so I kind of figured that everyone was going to choose this one, and that's exactly what you did. You guys chose The Bad Guys. So The Bad Guys is our video for tonight's Saturday Night Snack and a Movie. Now, I ordered this through Amazon. I bought it on 4K. It's also available on DVD and Blu-ray, and it's also available to stream on plenty of platforms right now so you guys can get it yourself and watch it with your family. So I don't know about you, but I am super excited about watching this movie tonight. But before we do that, we have got a lot to do. So stick around, guys. It's Saturday night. Right, guys it is a cold wet rainy cloudy dark day out here so we are going to jump in that humvee right there and i'm going to take you guys on a ride along and we're just going to kind of look around at things see what kind of awesome things we could find for saturday night snack in a movie look at all kinds of different snacks and things and choose a snack to make tonight Guys, so the first place we're gonna stop here is the Dollar Tree because the Dollar Tree always has all kinds of awesome stuff that you can get creative with. Like, look at this Valentine's stuff. If we were doing some kind of a Valentine's movie tonight, here's Valentine's I Love You cookie cutters. And this is the kind of stuff I really love, heart-shaped containers. How cool is that? You could put candy in there or whatever. Look at this, here's heart-shaped molds here. Heart-shaped glasses, little paper treat cups. These are pretty cool. What? Valentine fortune cookies. These are made out of like foam. I assume you put your own fortunes in there. Oh. Wait, okay, so fortunes come with them, but you can put your own fortunes in there. I don't think these are edible, but it does not say on the package that they're not. And here's those buckets we used last week to make our own popcorn buckets at home. Look at this. Oh my gosh, they always have the most awesome seasonal stuff. Look, oh my gosh. <laughs> Look at this. We have heart-shaped bowls. So again, if we were doing like a, a movie night that was something having to do with... I don't know, hearts or Valentine's Day or something like that. There's your popcorn bucket right there. I don't know yet what you could do with the noodles, but my mind is definitely working while I'm looking around the store. Look, there's all kinds of different colors, white, pink, red, blue, purple, orange, green. I'm sure there's some kind of an awesome Saturday night snack and a movie craft you could do with these. Okay, look at this, this is cool. Toy coins, these are St. Patrick's coins. But if you wanted them to tie into a movie night, you could do like Pirates of the Caribbean or even The Bad Guys, the movie that we're watching tonight. It has to do with them being like bank robbers or something. So you could just have those coins laying around. Look at this. They have all these color-coded party supplies if you were going to have a whole bunch of people over for a movie party. we got a whole bunch of different streamers here. I'll have to remember the orange ones for the next time we do a Halloween movie. Whoa, look at this, guys. They actually still have... Halloween giant coloring and activity books here. I'm tempted to get one of those. <laughs> That's an afternoon of fun. Look at this. Here's poster board in all kinds of different colors. And down here, 
there's sticky poster letters. You could actually make your own movie posters if you wanted to. You could make those posters that say coming soon or now showing, print a picture off the internet of the movie poster that you guys are gonna be watching and paste it on there. Here's smaller letters and stencils, different colors, different styles. Look at these, these are puffy stickers. They even have movies here, guys. Look at this, and they get replenished every once in a while. Like this looks like a new delivery of movies. So they might even have some really good stuff in here. Paranormal Activity 3. Hmm, let's see. Wild Bunch on Ice, I don't know what that is. But, yeah, I'm going to have to look through these. There's always a ton of these Assassin's Creeds. The Devil's Machine. I've never even heard of that one. What the heck is this one? Another wolf cop? What the heck? That reminds me of Teen Wolf. I almost have to get that. Here's a decent looking one. The Aviators. I think I actually bought this on Blu-ray from here a little while ago, but I haven't watched it yet. Oh yeah, break into Electric Boogaloo. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Look at this. If you need your chillins to take a bath before movie night and you can't get them to do it, they even have bathtub finger paint you could con them with. <laughs> or even blue... Red, yellow, green, I don't know. Yeah, different colors of bath bombs. And look at this, what in the world? Firefly Smiley Gripper. Who doesn't want to brush their teeth with that? And of course, the awesome snack aisle. Look at all this candy, guys. This is where I came in and stocked up the first time I filled that big M&M with candy. Look at this, we got Milk Duds, Raisinets, Junior Mints, Butterfingers, Whoppers, Boston Baked Beans, Reese Pieces, Swedish Fish, it goes on on and on and on. What the heck, look at this. We got Jelly Belly Sparkling Pear Water. What's this kind over here? Very cherry, there's orange sherbet back there. I think I'm actually gonna have to try that one. Orange sherbet Jelly Belly. Oh my gosh, and look at this, guys. Magical Marshmallow Twists. How fun is that? Cheetos Box of Bones Mac and Cheese. That would be delicious. Look at this, they even have little bags of cereal that you could use for your snacks. Fruit Loops, oh my gosh, look. Oops, all berries, that looks delicious. We got Lucky Charms, yum. Fruity Pebbles, Cinnamon Toast Crunch, here's Cheerios. Hmm, in fact, I used to make hot buttered O's all the time for movie nights for me and my kids when they were growing up. That might be a good idea for the snack. I think that one's gonna be in the running for tonight. Look at this, if you're trying to keep it healthy, they even have freeze-dried fruit. Now, I don't like bananas, but they do have apples and strawberry banana I see there, and even pineapples, that would probably be good. And here's the container aisle, guys. I was telling you last week, this place has just about any kind of container you could ever need for anything. Divided containers, little, medium, big, large, enormo. They even have plastic popcorn buckets. Ooh, and popcorn bags, too. Look at this, they have design your own cups here. You take that piece of paper out, print out whatever you want, and slide it right in there and make your own design of a mug. Well, that was fun. It's always fun to go into Dollar Tree for anything, especially for movie night. Because you're just looking for awesome things to make, like movie-related crafts and, uh, and your snacks. And as you can see, they have tons of stuff in there. So let's roll down here to the Goodwill. I want to take a look and see if they have any awesome movies on Blu-ray. I've been getting a whole bunch of them for like two to four dollars a piece. Yikers, this place is packed today. All right, let's go on in. So here's their DVDs. It does not look like they have any Blu-rays, except for maybe whatever this is right here. African cats? Hmm. Ooh, they do have robots on regular DVD. I like this one. Oh, look, they also have High School Musical 3 brand new. Get you, get you, get you, get your head in the game. Yeah, they got some good ones. Look at this. We got We're Back, A Dinosaur Story, and Ice Age, The Meltdown. We got Corpse Bride, The Haunted Mansion. Ooh, it's full screen, though. I don't want that. Here's another Blu-ray, The Other Woman. No, thank you. Six spooky stories. Oh, look, I missed this one right here. Ice Age on Blu-ray. We'll take that. Madagascar on DVD. Arthur and the Invisibles. I have not seen this one yet, guys. Let me know if this is good. This might have to be a movie night. Oh, 28 days later. I want to order this on Blu-ray. I don't want to get it on DVD. I used to have it. 
but I want everything like this on Blu-ray or 4K now. Jeepers Creepers 2, which I really did not care all that much for. Oh look, we got Epic here. I don't think I have this one. And I don't recall that I've seen it either, guys. Let me know if this is a good one too. Look, we got Clock Stoppers on VHS. How cool is that? I actually do have the DVD at home. I'm tempted to buy that one. Here we go, guys, in the book section. The Peppermint Bark Cookbook. Over 75 recipes for delicious homemade treats from milkshakes to cheesecakes. That would have some good Saturday night snack and a movie snacks in it. Oh, look, guys, we got a Goosebumps Ghost Beach. Look at that. Before we go any further, I think we need to talk about the elephant in the room. Samsonite, I was way off. Well, that wasn't very eventful, but we did get Ice Age on Blu-ray and Robots on regular DVD. So this next store is called Home Buys. When I'm making snacks with you guys, I like to stick to stores that most people have in their area. But I saw something in here a couple weeks ago, thank you Automatic Door, that I passed up and I have wished I bought ever since. This is kind of like an overstock store. They have all kinds of awesome stuff in here. In fact, look at these lights right here. If you're looking for stuff for a movie room, this kind of stuff is awesome. Look, this is Jurassic World. It lights up and makes dinosaur sounds. Here we got a Buzz Lightyear. We got Frozen. Oh, this one's not working. We even got Spider-Man over here. Pretty dang cool. But what I'm looking for is somewhere down one of these aisles, all the tasty snacks. Look at this, guys. Oh my gosh, they have cookie butter. They have hazelnut chocolate duo spread. I would love to dip some cookies in that. Look at this, little bags of Chips Ahoy. There's how many in here? There's like 10 bags, nine bags of Chips Ahoy cookies in here for a buck 50. I think a lot of this stuff is things that didn't sell very well in the regular stores. Like look down here, we have cookie crunch M&Ms, English toffee peanut M&Ms. Those would be delicious. And I'm kind of afraid that because of that reason, I'm not gonna find what it was that I saw the last time I was in here. I knew I should have bought it, dang. Look, they have this Whirly Pop soda. You can find this in Cracker Barrel. And the reason it's here is probably because it's not very good. I tasted it one day. I was gonna do it for a video, but it was so bad. I just didn't even make the video. Here's those epic Duncan Hines cookie kits that we've seen in Walmart before. It includes cookie mix, frosting, and sprinkles. Those look delicious. We should make those some night. What in the world? Look at this, guys. Dr. Pepper Cherry Dessert Topper. Well, I should have bought it last time, guys. I'm pretty sure it was right here. And what it was was cinnamon toast crunch, like sprinkle stuff. It was sugar and cinnamon toast crunch shaker. <laughs> I don't even know how to explain it, that you would shake on like popcorn or whatever you wanted, and it tasted like cinnamon toast crunch. Yeah, I don't even see any uh, cinnamon toast crunch cereal, but I do see this. Look at this, guys. They have Peeps cereal, marshmallow flavored cereal with marshmallows. That looks delicious. Look at this. Not only do they have some Halloween cookie kits left, but they have Mr. Owl Tootsie Pops. <laughs> look, you hang the owl up on your wall when you're done with the Tootsie Pops. Yeah, look at this, 97 cents, guys, for the 12 count deluxe Halloween cookie decorating kit. $1.97 for Halloween backpacks with treats. Well, I didn't get what I wanted in there, but that doesn't mean that we still can't make what I was planning on making with it in the first place. Okay, one more Goodwill here and then we're gonna head home. This is a brand new Goodwill and for some reason it smells like cat pee inside. But they always have lots of movies here and it doesn't smell too bad today actually. <laughs> Here's the blind side on DVD, brand new, four bucks. But honestly, I really didn't care for that movie at all. Ooh, we got Wayne's World here. The Incredibles, which is always a win. Ooh, looky here, Blair Witch Project, yes. And we got Malibu's Most Wanted, which is actually a pretty hilarious movie. And look at this guy's Tricky Treats, ghoulish goodies to serve up on Halloween. Yes, you can never go wrong with Goodwill. Look at the bananas, that is hilarious. There's all kinds of spooky movie night snack ideas.
is in here. What in the world? What would be the chance of finding this book right here in a Goodwill? That is too hilarious. Okay guys, sun is starting to go down. I got a couple things at Goodwill and I got a couple things over here at Mark's, but it is time to head home and get this party started. <laughs> Okay guys, so we are home and I am ready to show you everything that I just bought at all those stores we just went to. Starting with this deliciousness right here, the Peeps cereal. I cannot wait to taste this stuff. It looks so absolutely delicious and it has little marshmallow flavored bunnies in it. What in the world? I should probably even save that for like an Easter Saturday night snack in a movie. We could do the movie Hop or something like that. Anyways, I did buy a couple of movies I think I may have shown you already. We got Ice Age from the Goodwill and that is on Blu-ray. That was only, I think this was actually only a dollar because I believe that the purple tags are 50% off right now. And then the other one that I got was the Robots on the regular DVD, and that as well, it was $2. So I don't know if it was the purple or the blue tags that were 50% off, but one of these was only a dollar, and it brought my total to like three bucks. I love Goodwill for adding to my DVD collection. So, oh, at another Goodwill, I did not buy the Bad Guys book, but I did find this book right here laugh out loud spooky joke book how cool is that let's look at a couple of these jokes how did the farmer fix his overalls with a pumpkin patch <laughs> okay how did dracula fix his broken fangs with toothpaste <laughs> why did the zombie dislike the farmer's market because there were no farmers for sale. Oh my lord. All right, let's see what else we got here. For our snack tonight, I did decide on hot buttered O's, but it's gonna be with a twist. I was looking for the cinnamon toast crunch. Uh, it's like powder, like a shaky dust, whatever you wanna call it. And I did not find that, but I did get some of these Cheerios. I got some ground cinnamon. I have sugar upstairs. I did find Domino sugar and cinnamon together in one little shaker. So that's pretty cool. That was only like a buck 29. And I got that at the Marks beside the last Goodwill we went to. I also bought one of these little things of cinnamon toast crunch. Cause what I plan on doing is crushing this up and mixing it with the hot buttered O's. And I think that will be maybe even more delicious than had we found the, uh, the shaky cinnamon toast crunch dust or whatever it's called. I think it's actually called Cinna dust. I could be wrong. Anyway, I did get one of these uh, design your own mugs. Yeah, you take this part out, you take this paper out, print your picture on there, and then you stick it right back in there, put it back together, and then you have your own custom mug right there. I don't know if it's a mug, it's more of like a tumbler but you could make it custom to whatever movie you're watching that night. Like tonight, we're gonna make the bad guys. So you could even print out like pictures of the bad guys and put it in there and have your own bad guys mug. Magical marshmallow twists. Those are delicious. Okay, honestly, they taste just like a regular marshmallow, but they are delicious. And who wouldn't want magical marshmallow twists as opposed to marshmallows. Next, I found this while I was going through the checkout and I couldn't pass it up. Check this out, guys. Kool-Aid gum. What the heck, man? And then we got one more bag here. Oh, okay. I did get the orange sherbet jelly belly sparkling water. I'm gonna stick that in the fridge and I'll try that before this video's over. I'm not gonna throw that one. And then I noticed that our candy supply over here is getting a little low. <laughs> There's only like a hundred boxes of candy in there now. So I bought another stack of candy to put in there. Okay, so with all that said, guys, I think it is time to go upstairs and make our snack so we can get ready to watch this movie. And all of you seem to like the magical twist, so who's ready to cook? 
All right, guys, you've probably heard me talk about this before, hot buttered O's. Basically, you just take Cheerios, a stick of butter, melt the butter, pour it over the Cheerios, mix it all up, put it in a bowl, and you got hot buttered O's. We're gonna do that tonight, but with a little twist. Tonight, we're gonna make Cinnamon Toast Crunch Hot Butter Doughs. Now, Cheerios you can find pretty much anywhere, but just in case you can't find Cinnamon Toast Crunch, you can just use cinnamon and sugar. Now, I found this handy-dandy little package of Domino Sugar and Cinnamon in one. It's a little shaker or you can just get regular ground cinnamon and shake it along with regular sugar. This is super easy, but as you can see, we have a couple of different kinds of containers here. We have this measuring glass to melt our butter in. We have this little cup so that we can put our cinnamon toast crunch in it once it is crushed. We have our bowl for the final product. Of course, we have a pan to spread everything out in and get it mixed up good. And we have a rolling pin. So the first thing we're gonna do just to get them out of the way, we're gonna open up our cherry now you'll probably have a box of Cheerios, but I found these at the Dollar Tree as I showed you guys earlier. I'm gonna just pour them in there. In fact, I think one bag will be good for now. And actually the reason I went ahead and bought the bags of Cheerios instead of a box is because this is resealable. Plus it's made of a material where you actually could pour your butter right in there, seal it up and shake it up and you'd have a bag of hot buttered O's. You could also do that with a regular Ziploc bag, but I'm gonna do it this way tonight because I just might wanna put these in the oven for a little bit after we mix them all together and get them nice and hot. So the next thing we're gonna do is open up our Cinnamon Toast Crunch, and of course, if all you have is a big box of Cinnamon Toast Crunch, that's perfectly fine. We're gonna pour it in the Ziploc, zip that closed, and we're gonna crush those up. Now, I'm gonna try to do this with a rolling pin and I figured this is what would happen. It rolls it out pretty good, but the bag starts moving around. So if that happens to you, or if you don't have a rolling pin, you can use anything that you have on hand. This pan has a flat bottom. You can simply put that on there and crush them like that. A smaller pan might even be easier. Just roll it around. Yep, and there you go. They're starting to crush up nice and fine. And there you go, it's almost like a powder when you get done. Now you could actually reuse this cup that they originally came in if you have one of those. I'm gonna use one of these little clear cups so you guys can see better what I'm doing. I'm gonna cut off the corner here on the bottom and just pour these right into the cup. That'll make it that much easier to shake them onto the Cheerios. Now the next thing we're gonna do is get our butter ready and melt it in the microwave. So I let this sit out overnight and get room temperature so that it would melt a lot easier. Now I can't really give you guys any measurements on the butter or the Cheerios because it's gonna depend on how much you wanna make. I'm using one whole stick of butter. Make sure you put something on top of it in the microwave so it doesn't splatter all over. And just hit 30 seconds or whatever it takes to melt it. When it comes out, just pour it on. Spread it out really good in there. Sprinkle on your cinnamon toast crunch and mix it all up. Now after I mixed that up, I realized there was plenty of butter left in there. So I went ahead and mixed that other bag of Cheerios as well. And you can see how it coated it perfectly in there. Now these would be perfectly fine as they are to eat them right out of this pan, but I'm gonna go ahead and put these in the oven at 350 for about 15 minutes, just so that it'll get nice and hot and crunchy. Oh yeah. Yeah, look at that. These are gonna be delicious. All that cinnamon toast crunch just mixed up in there perfectly. Now, of course, you can eat this with your fingers. I'm just gonna use a spoon here. Look at that. I want you guys to see how the cinnamon toast crunch is just mixed up perfectly in there with the Cheerios. Smells delicious. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm-mm. Cinnamon toast crunch hot butter doughs. All right, guys, there it is. Delicious Cinnamon Toast Crunch Hot Butter Doughs and the bad guys. I'm gonna get my pillows and blankets and kick back here on the couch and watch this movie. But before we go, we need to pick our movie for next week. We've got this awesome video store that I built. 
Let's take a look around, pick out a few movies, and then I will drop them in a poll tomorrow so that you guys can vote on what movie we're going to watch in the next Saturday Night Snack in a Movie. So at the moment, these are all VHS up here. It doesn't necessarily mean they're totally off limits, but let's stick to what I have in stock on DVD or Blu-ray right now. And that would be this entire wall all the way down here and this little cove back here built for all the kid movies. Of course, if you know me, 90% of this out here is kids movies too. <laughs> so I've added a handful of new movies to this selection recently. Not necessarily brand new movies that are available now, but ones that I've ordered to replace other ones that I had. Open Season, Jimmy Neutron Boy Genius. Okay, now that one right there, I can never get enough of this movie. I think it is absolutely hilarious, and if you guys have never watched it, you definitely have to. In fact, that one might be in the running for next week. We also have The Emperor's New Groove, and this actually has two movies. It also has Krunk's New Groove on it. Of course, we have Ice Age that we just bought, Bad Guys we're watching tonight. There's Adventures in Babysitting and Teen Wolf, which was up for voting last week. We'll stick those in the mix a little bit later, because those are definitely some that I want to do for a Saturday night snack in a movie. But since we had them on the block last week, let's go ahead and give them some time. I just picked up Overboard, which is a pretty good movie, Maximum Overdrive and Bullet Train, neither of which I would suggest for little kids. They Live, that's probably not a good one for kids either. All of these over here are pretty good to choose from. We do have this right here, which is the 4K edition of the Back to the Future trilogy. All three movies in there, Back to the Future 1, 2, and 3. Pee-wee's Big Adventure is always a winner, but we've done this one for Saturday Night Snack in a movie before, so I think we'll skip on that one for now. Of course, we have Gremlins, The Burbs, Enchanted, which is definitely a classic. I love this one. In fact, they just came out with the new one called Disenchanted, on the Disney Channel. I've not watched that one yet. That would actually make a good double feature right there. Let's see. I do love Monster House. Um, I actually just watched Ghostbusters 1 and 2 last week. I love Ghostbusters Afterlife, but we did that one recently as well. If you guys have been watching for a while, you probably remember we made the little mini Stay Puffed Marshmallow Men. Those were really cool. Now this is a cool one here, Journey to the Center of the Earth. And this one is actually in 3D. And I'll show you here, if you open up the package, you'll see that it actually comes with 3D glasses. So it's the old style 3D, but it is still awesome. But if we're thinking about doing a 3D movie, guys, I gotta tell you, my choice is over here, and it is definitely Spy Kids 3D. This is my favorite Spy Kids in the whole series. This one also comes with 3D glasses. I know that not everybody has this movie or 3D glasses. However, you can get this on eBay for like three bucks right now. Now this one also comes with 3D glasses. So if you go on there to buy it, make sure the listing says and shows that you get the 3D glasses with it. I think I actually have three copies of this myself because I love it so much. And with that in mind, I think that is gonna be the first one that we're putting in the running for next week. Let's look at these kids movies over here just for another minute here. Um. Bolt is actually another really good one. I watched this while I was waiting for a doctor's appointment one time. The entire movie because they took that long to get me in. It's so difficult to choose because I love all these movies. Oh, and here's The Aviators like I was talking about earlier. I knew I bought this on Blu-ray and I got this for a dollar at the Dollar Tree. Man, there's just so many good ones. Look at this, we have Wreck-It Ralph here. Monsters vs. Aliens, we have a SpongeBob movie, How to Train Your Dragon 1 and 2, Life of Pets. Man, all of these are so good. I love the good dinosaur. I had to move this guy so we could get in over here. All right, let's take a look. Um, Paul Blart Mall Cop. Man, that is definitely another one of my all-time favorites. In fact, yeah, we're gonna make that number two 
on their roster here. I love having this whole setup here. Look at this, the Muppets Take Manhattan. I love that one. We got Napoleon Dynamite here, Edward Scissorhands, Marley and Me, Men in Black. We got Ella Enchanted, the Brady Bunch movie, Matilda. Oh look, another Adventures in Babysitting. <laughs> and here's that clock stopper, as I showed you earlier how I found it on uh, VHS in the Goodwill. And here it is on DVD. Charlie and a Chocolate Factory. We got the Narnia movies here. Batman, we got Batman Begins. Spider-Man Homecoming, which is an awesome one. Ooh, The Lost City. Now, I don't know if I'd really call this family friendly, but um, it is definitely a really good movie. Channing Tatum, Sandra Bullock, Brad Pitt is in this. Absolutely hilarious. You know, it's really tough for me to not put Jimmy Neutron in there this time but I think we're gonna do Enchanted because I really like the idea of having that double feature of Enchanted and Disenchanted. So there we go. That's our three choices for next week. I'll set up a poll and I will put it out on YouTube tomorrow and then you guys can go on there and vote for whichever one of these you wanna watch.